Hi, it's Jeff here for VIP Vision. In this video, we're going to be taking a brief look at the VIP Vision SWA Series 8 port power over Ethernet networking switch. Now, this is a standard networking switch which supports uh, obviously power over Ethernet via 802.3AF and 802.3AT specifications, so it supplies 48 volts. Now, where would we use a switch like this? So, typically in the surveillance industry, uh, when we're using a switch like this, we're going to be connecting IP cameras. So, we're going to be connecting an IP camera, it's going to supply, uh, this device is going to supply power, and it's also going to supply data to the unit, or data connectivity. We would then, using, um, we would plug that into one of the powered ports on this switch, and then from there we would plug this into a secondary switch, or into wireless gear, or directly into a video recorder. Now I'll just flip across to another camera so you can have a bit of a closer look at this switch. So, we just look at this network switch here, so going from this edge, so this is our uplink port on this side, or above that you actually see our activity link and power, our activity and link for our uplink port and our power LED on this side here. Now our uplink port, we actually have a 100 megabit uplink port on this switch. When I say uplink, basically this is just a standard port on the networking switch which does not supply power and is designed to be linked back to a bigger networking switch to pass off to a bigger networking switch somewhere else, or directly to a router, or to wireless gear, or to uh, the NVR itself. Moving across from there, we have our eight power over ethernet ports here. So each one of these ports is capable of supplying up to 30 watts uh, via the 802.3AT standard, 30 watts as a maximum. Um, this device by itself can handle a total of uh, 90 watts globally, okay? So obviously we can't load each one of these ports up, up to 30 watts, it's just 30 watts per port maximum. Um, and then uh, typically if you're using smaller cameras anyway, it's not gonna be a problem if you're using uh, um, small cameras, uh, like bullet cameras or dome cameras. It's only when you start looking towards, you know, your PTZ cameras and things like that, that you're gonna start heading towards that sort of power level. Um, now, if we take a look uh, over this side here, you'll notice that one of the ports is actually labeled in orange. So, the orange port here actually means that it's a high PoE port. When we say high PoE, what we're actually referring to is this port can source up to 60 watts of power. Now, where would you use that? Well, you would use that in certain situations where, let's say, um, for instance, you're using a, a laser PTZ. So, uh, the VIP Vision laser PTZ, which is a, um, can draw quite a lot of power because it has infrared range of up to 500 meters and is obviously a pan tilt zoom camera so it has to power the motors it needs more than the 30 watts that one of these ports would be able to output so you would be able to plug that into here rather than having to connect it via an external uh, poe injector or via a 24 volt ac supply um, while we're going over this as i noted before these are all 802.3 at or 802.3 af compliant uh, so you don't necessarily just have to plug uh, cameras into these units, we can plug other things into them. Often these are, you know, these sorts of switches are used for um, IP telephony, for instance, or VoIP, VoIP phones. Um, also, they're often used for uh, things like wireless gear, for instance, so wireless access points, that sort of thing. That's, that's the sort of thing that you would power up from here. Now, um, one final thing that you'll notice here is we actually have a, a switch on the side here. Now, you'll see default and extend. So, this is actually a a feature of this switch is that it can, um, if you need it to, or if, if you require it to, by flipping the switch here, it will actually drop every one of these ports, with the exception of the uplink port, it will drop them all to 10 megabits. Now this sounds like a bad idea, going from 100 megabit to 10 megabit per port here, but what that actually allows us to do is these ports can then be run, instead of the 100 meters that you're typically restricted to by uh, Ethernet, we can then also run each one of these ports up to 250 meters. Now, um, like I said, you trade off speed for that. Um, so, you know, this is not good for all situations. This is only really good in certain situations where you really need the extra distance. Let's say you've got a very long run. Um, you can't, for instance, um, you know, it's more than 100 meters. You can't run wireless gear. You don't want to run fiber it's unfeasible to do anything other than use an extended run of copper uh, to a single camera, you can do this. Now, don't use them for uplinks to other switches and things like that, um, because you'll only have 10 megabit. Don't use it for cameras which are going to use quite a bit of data. So for instance, if you had a, you know, an eight megapixel, 12 megapixel camera, which is set up to stream at, you know, more than 10 megabit per second, um, 
you need to keep that in mind. This is only really good for low bit rates. So, um, you know, maybe a four megapixel camera set at four megabit per second, that sort of thing. That's, that's when you want to be doing this. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's really designed to uh, make the switch a lot more versatile. So it really in certain situations it can, it can help you out. Um, now if we flip around to the back of the device here, you'll see that on this side here we've got an earthing point and on this side over here you'll see our power input. Now it's a DC in on this device, 48 to 57 volts. Uh, we do supply the unit, uh, the power supply for the unit, which show you here now. So supplied in the box with this is, as I mentioned, our 48 volt power supply with the DC jack on it here. You can see on the back here, 48 volts. Um, we use an IEC cable here, so we also supply in the box an IEC cable, so three pin plug uh, to IEC. Also in the box, you will find a user's manual. Um, so this is a fairly basic switch, but it's still probably a very good idea to look at this for the warnings and other, other mentions. So we've, uh, we've gone over the, the specifications of this product here. So if you do want to know anything more about the, uh, this particular switch, um, the best way to look at it is actually to go to uh, the VIP Vision website, so vip-vision.com and uh, search for the product there. I'll just flip across now and just show that to you. So this is the, the product page, the VSPOE SWA8. And you can see here that we've got a photo of the product, which you can, we've also got uh, specifications for the product down here. So, you know, number of ethernet ports, uh, other, other information, as I mentioned before, 802.3AF, AT and high PoE. Uh, port one supports up to 60 watts, the others up to 30 watts, total of less than 96 watts. So just stay under 90 watts for the device. Um, the weight of the products, warranty, and some other information down here. And if you do need it, you can click on here for the POE or the PDF, I should say, brochure for all of the switches and the VIP vision range. So yeah, in this video, we've gone over the VSPOE SWA8 or the A-series um, eight port power ethernet switch from VIP Vision. Uh, if you've got any further questions regarding this product, please leave a comment below. Uh, if you'd like to see any other videos on any other products or we've got any, you know, any other information about anything else, please again, leave a product below. Please subscribe to the channel if you, if you like these videos or you're interested in them. And yeah, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.